and welcome back to a very, very cold Sweden. I think the temperature is minus 28, which is the coldest it's been all year, and you'd never believe it. Today, the coldest day that it's been this year, the rest of our chimney and fire stuff arrived on the coldest day. Would you believe it? How annoying is that? That is just sod's law, isn't it? But anyway, I'm alone tonight. Ash has decided to take a trip in the van and I've been left to man the house and look after the animals all alone. <laughs> so yeah, first task is getting some wood to keep the, the house nice and warm. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit lonely. I love alone time, but being completely alone in the house not something I'm used to at all anymore so yeah it's very strange but yeah but I think we're gonna be okay <laughs> as long as we stay warm which I'm taking care of right now in there I think just a little bit more I wish I could show you more of the night this evening, but it's so dark that there's lots of stars out. It was full moon just a few days ago and the night was so bright. It would have been such a good time, but now it's, it's completely dark. Oh, I forgot to put the Christmas lights on. Now we have some light on the tree. As close as I can get to showing you outside. <laughs> ah dear. I just realised as well, a bit stupid of me. <laughs> um, although I can't film the night sky, I can take a photo instead. I completely forgot about that. Why didn't I think of that? So I'll take some photos and I'm going to put them in now. <laughs> So I'm back inside now. I don't know if those photos turned out any good, but I tried. <laughs> My hands were getting a little bit cold, so um, I decided to give up. But there will be plenty more photo opportunities. Absolutely there will be. And northern lights as well. So we've got all that to come. So since I'm alone tonight, I think I'll just spend some time with the animals and maybe watch a cheesy Christmas film. Something that I know Ash wouldn't enjoy. <laughs> So yeah, and I'm going to be making the rest of the butternut and carrot soup that I made the other day because I still have some ingredients left and I really fancy it because it was so good. So yeah.
Right, we've finally made it outside. It's an absolute mission to get his little coat on. Coat and shoes. <laughs> and it's still very, very cold. I think today is minus 26. So it's not quite as cold as it was the other night, but this temperature doesn't want to leave, so it seems. But it doesn't usually tend to stay for that long. So we're just trying our best to keep each room of the house warm because we don't have our fire installed downstairs yet. So we're having to use diesel heaters and stuff. And you just got to keep very active with it and it's a bit of hard work. But despite all that, today is absolutely gorgeous. We've got a nice clear sky, the sun's a little bit out and it's just highlighting all the trees in the distance. There's a deer in the field just over there. What do you think about it, Bob? You nice and warm in your suit? Hey, nice and warm. I don't know if you can see, but he's starting to get little frosticles, frosticles, <laughs> icicles on his um, whiskers. Bobby, look. <laughs> he looks even more old. <laughs> but yeah, this temperature is, is very cold, but I actually really like it. As long as you dress up warm and you've got somewhere nice and warm to go back into, it's, it's actually really enjoyable, I find anyway. I think everyone's different. And a lot of people comment saying that they couldn't live here and they hate the cold, but it's really so different to like a cold in the UK, say, because there's so much moisture in the air and there's a lot of wind. Now there's no wind and there's no moisture, so it is just very dry and very cold. Um, but yeah, that's, that's why it makes it so different and more enjoyable. Which I'm not really selling it, to be honest, am I? With my little rosy cheeks, but... I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's one of those things where you just have to uh, experience it for yourself. And also, everything is frosty and pretty. And that's really hard not to like, I think. Just come to check on the birds to see how they're doing. They've still got some seed. And that's a clear indication of how much they've actually been fed. That's all of the sunflower seed uh, casings. So that's quite a lot of seed. They've still got a bit in there. Probably have to fill that up later. Somebody's waiting for me. Do you want to go back in now, Bolski? Hey, should we go back in? Can show you the little icicles on his face now. Hey, he cold, Bob. I don't think you're that cold. He, I think you're wearing better clothes than me. You got actual proper insulated thermals on, Bob. Hey, go on. I feel to mention as well that I actually do have a lot of respect for this cold weather because it's not something to joke around about especially if you're not in civilization, like if your car broke down on the way to town or something. Yeah, you could be in, you could be in trouble. And it's a smart idea to carry extra gloves and scarves and coats in the car with you, even if you don't plan to use them, just in case you got stranded somewhere. The best way to enjoy this weather is to have a lot of respect for it and know the possibilities of what could happen. And yeah, as long as you, you know that and you know your limits and yeah, I think it's a really nice temperature to enjoy. And yeah, 
It still seems so strange that we actually live here now. I'm still not really used to it. I mean, this is our third winter now, but at the same time, being in this temperature, surrounded by all this snow in the forest, and yeah, it's still, it's still so new, and it doesn't like feel normal still. It, it's quite hard to explain, but I guess as each year goes on, it will feel more familiar and yeah but yeah i love it i do i really do love it it's uh, completely magical in a few and in like two weeks time it's going to be christmas and yeah it's really nice to be able to spend christmas in a snowy environment because it's not the same is it christmas without snow it's just not the same so fresh.